Okay, so this is the um, week two homework assignment grid. I started by drawing the horizon line right here, seven inches down from the top of the page. Then I located the center of vision, or CV, in the middle, so that'd be 12 inches from the right hand side or the left hand side of the page. And I drew a ground line right here, five inches below the horizon line, so five inches. Then um, we're going to use the diagonal vanishing point. So I measured over 10 inches from the center of vision on the horizon line and located a diagonal vanishing point at the 10 inch mark right here. Labeled diagonal vanishing point over here, labeled horizon line over here. Here's my ground line, which is also a measuring line. So <clears throat> we're going to use measuring points. And I've measured over 4 inches from the left hand side of the page and measured uh, one and a half increments. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of those one and a half inch increments. So now I'm ready to go ahead and draw. These uh, basic preliminary lines I did in pencil, but now I'm going to draw, I'm going to use a marker just so you can see it. So the first thing you do is it's going to be a one point perspective grid, floor grid. So we uh, have our vanishing point right here and I'm going to draw the orthogonal lines from each increment on the ground line, which is a measuring line, to the vanishing point. So I'll go ahead and do that. Now you should use pencil. I'm using the ink just so that it's more visible. So here's my orthogonals going from each increment to the vanishing point. Normally you draw these very lightly using a 2H pencil. So all our measurements are set out for you, so we're going to use now the diagonal vanishing point in order to find uh, intersections along the orthogonals so that we can measure the um, horizontal lines for the squares going back into space. So starting at the lower right hand corner, I'm going to draw a line to the diagonal vanishing point. And I'm going to start at the corner of the grid, and I only need to go to the end of the grid, because that's where, that's where my grid is going to end anyway. So now I'm going to use the T-square, and everywhere there's an intersection along these orthogonals, I'm going to draw a horizontal line from one side to the other side of the grid. And I should have a nice floor going back into perspective. You can see very quickly the distance between these lines decreases as we go back into perspective. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten squares across, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten squares back. So there's the base for our floor grid.